How's it going everyone and welcome back to another SOLIDWORKS video. In today's video we're going to be going over how to use the uh, uh, feature fillet and feature round as well as how to use the uh, convert entities tool within SOLIDWORKS. So I want to start with a simple sketch and uh, I'm going to create a rectangle. So say I'm, I'm creating a box but I want to uh, uh, shave off the corners so it's on a sharp edge. So let's just say two by three, and uh, and then I'm gonna extrude it. So so far, whenever we've had to, we wanted to put a a round on the a round or a chamfer, we've been going in the sketch. Now you can also do it at the feature level, where you can just extrude this, extrude this as is, and then add in uh, that fillet or uh, chamfer after the fact. So I'm gonna do an extrusion. I'm gonna extrude it, say two inches. Oh, I'll make it one. Uh, looks a little bit better. One inch. And I'll hit OK. So now, if I want to put in a fillet, I just come over to here, under under the Features tab, select Fillet, and I can select as many fi uh, edges that I want to fillet. So I'll select that one, that one, and that one. So I've got a full preview on, a partial preview. I'm going to put full. And, uh, I can adjust uh, how much I want it to fill it. If I want to do it asymmetric, I can uh, adjust it like that, but I'm going to leave it as symmetric for the time being. And uh, then I'm going to hit OK. Now if I want to make that a chamfer, I can do it the same way. I'm just going to go back here, edit the feature, and uh, um, well, no, I can't do it that way. So I'm going to delete this feature. I'll click this drop down right here. Click on chamfer. And I can select this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I want it to be uh, 0.5. And hit OK. Now, if you notice up in the upper left, there's some different kinds of options that you can select. So I can select this right here, where I can set the the two the two, the two distances. Or if I want to give it an angle and uh, one distance, like so. But I'm gonna leave it at 45 for now. Okay. So that brings us to the Convert Entities tab. So let's say I wanted to create another extrusion on top of this, but I wanted it uh, to take the shape of these outer edges. So let's do that. Let's, let's start with creating a sketch on this top surface now. So I'll go to New Sketch, select the surface, and go Normal to. So far, with the tools that we have so far, we'd have to uh, trace around the edges. So I can select an edge, 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 and go all the way around. I could do it that way. Or I can make use of the Convert Entities tool. And I click right here, and I can select the edges. Oops, don't want to grab a face. So grab that edge, grab that edge, grab that edge, grab that edge and grab that edge. And I can hit OK. And those edges are automatically going to turn into sketch elements. So let's just say this is enough. This is all I really wanted to extrude. I'm going to close it off now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and extrude this body. So hit Escape, Features, Extrude Boss Base. I'll extrude that another inch. And I was able to create another extrusion. I could also do the same thing with the uh, the uh, uh, the offset entities tool. I'll select this, this. Oops, let's go normal too. That'll make it easier. Oops. Let me back up. There we go. Start with there. Convert entities. I'll select this edge, this edge this edge, 
sorry, not convert, offset entities. It's like this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And I'm gonna reverse it, and I want it to be uh, half inch inwards. So I'll make 0.25. Hit OK. Features extrude. I can do another extrusion. So all very useful tools to have in our back pocket for when we start getting into more complicated uh, examples later on in this series. So thank you all for, for watching. If you've liked so far what you've seen, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to help grow the channel. Every little bit helps. Till next, next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.